Tomorrow on News. Tonight we have a small segment observing the difference between cognition in individualist and collectivist cultures. Mr. Smith and Mr. Rajneesh are two individuals working in a car sales company in Abu Dhabi. This is what occurred last night within their workplace. It has come to my attention that the company is losing its credibility and this is leading to a decrease in our interest rates. This is pathetic. From now on, all of your commissions will decrease by 10% and you will be working more often. Not one person here deserves what they're currently getting. For that, it will change. Did you just say you'll drop our commissions by 10%? Yes, do you have a problem with that? Yes, sir, I do have a problem with well, that. Well then, Mr. Big Shot, you can leave this room and this company- Bloody will! I quit! I can find a better bloody job anywhere! No ma'am, please. If decreasing our commissions will make the company better, I'm willing to change. To get better and work harder, I promise. Very well then. We will see how you do starting tomorrow. <laughs> uh, ma'am, tomorrow's Friday. I know it's Friday. Do as I say. <sighs> yes ma'am. An astounding difference in reaction. No. It was obvious the cognitive, socio-cultural differences have completely affected the way these two act. Luckily, we have these two nice men here on our show in order to interview with them. We are now here with Mr. Smith from the UK. Hello, Mr. Smith. Hello, uh, thank you for having me. So we have this footage of you storming out of this office. Tell me why you didn't try to adapt to your boss's new rules. Never do that. I would never change myself. I did not like the environment of my boss's stupid rules. So, I'm going to change my job. It's much easier, and besides, why would I put up with an environment that I don't like? Interesting thought. Does this way of thinking run throughout your family? To some extent. Uh, most of my family has the same attributes that I have. They're very particular in the things they like and don't like. I, for one, am much, much more stingy than most of my family, but I like that about myself. It's very interesting. Well, thank you for your time. Y you're welcome. We're now here with Mr. Rajneesh, uh, an immigrant from India. Hello. Hello. So you reacted very different to the situation than Mr. Smith. Why is that? I don't know. I, I just don't think it's worth quitting my job. You know, once I get employed, I believe I have to stay in that job and maintain it to the highest standards I possibly could. Very interesting. Do you believe what your boss had in mind was justified? If he honestly believes that decreasing your salaries and making us work double time will improve the company, then I'm willing to change my self work. I believe that humans can change to fit in. I have obligations towards my company and I will work hard to achieve my best. Very interesting. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the cognitive impulses that are in individualist and collectivist cultures are very distinct. The individualist Mr. Smith from the UK wished to change the environment that he was in and saw his own personality as fixed. He simply would not choose to change himself based on his boss's new rules. This is in great contrast to Mr. Rajneesh, the collectivist from India. He himself saw the environment as fixed and adapted. As he made clear in the interview, once he finds a stable job, he will work to stay a part of it and make the changes to himself as necessary. The ways that just these two men have reacted to a great change within their car selling company shows the amount of socio-cultural diversity that our world has. Thank you for joining us on Marwan News. See you next time.